Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising monthly tarot reading for January 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a general reading for Aquarius star sign and uh, for that reason in this video I'm going to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread as uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different level with every single uh, different Aquarius out there in the world so for most accuracy <clears throat> uh, you will have to align it with uh, your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that is a uh, subject to a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a, a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricing and uh, to the end of December in case you go that way I mean for a personal reading uh, the uh, prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, live reading with me are with reduced costs so this is going to be a five card general tower spread and uh, we are going to do as well an enhanced tower spread so that means we are going to pull multiple cards per position and just from the overview here Aquarius is, it does look like that you are going to overcome a, a big enemy or a, a big rival of yours you know or for some which uh, the opposition is quite petite in generally they are to overcome certain predicaments or certain disputes with uh, with people however this whole process will involve as well detachment from those people that may come somewhat painful for you we are seeing this over here with the ten of swords but we uh, we are going to dive deeper into that subject as we go with the reading so let's go with the first card here as a first position that will be the topic of your month and we have the seven of wands and it is the opposition i was talking about with the ace of pentacles so that is a um look the more seven of wands takes place the more weaker the ace of pentacles is and what the ace of pentacles in general is it's wealth it's resources it's harmony so we are having here the very topic is that you are most likely Aquarius find yourself being sick of someone influencing your things into your career or your relationship in general or people that doesn't mind their own business and constantly poking into yours and are trying to altering your outcomes you know your your intentions as well your performance and etc etc so here in this month that is going to be how the, the the very topic of it you regaining back the harmony in your life pushing away driving away noxious people from it or it, it may not be as well people it could be just the um, a general situation or an undertakings where you are to define for yourself that these undertakings or situations are exactly the very core of uh, <clears throat> the how can I place it um, the insecure situation that you may find yourself in so what is important here with these cards to acknowledge is that you need to guard your boundaries you need to guard your relationship you need to guard your career which means that uh, a, a certain people who are poking into your things in there that are causing you predicaments for no reason whatsoever should not be left unattended you should not keep it a silent treatment about uh, about it you should not pretend that nothing is going on around you but you should raise the matter you should make an issue for it and as well you know you should confront in case these are people you should confront those people and just tell them to mind their own business the ten of swords here as an intentions that you should incorporate into this month or that is as well the best possible course of action ten of swords with the magician card points to a, a very exaggerated communicational um, 
performance here or communication or skills that you need to incorporate uh, into your environment. And as well, uh, whatever those um, communications are going to be all about, it does look like that after that there won't be any going back. And as the Ten of Swords sits here, it means that you have to be very cutting with your tongue. You should not try to stretch the truth so it can be comfortable for a certain person or for certain amounts of people as well. I mean, you got to say the truth as the truth is as well, no matter how painful it's going to be. And man, is going to be painful at least for some some people hear for what it seems because they these people after they hear how you feel and what you think and how you um how you want in general things to go forward with you most likely they will no longer be factors into your life so what we do have here is, is that you may find yourself in a situation where you have to sacrifice connections where you have to sacrifice as well friendships which are no longer the uh, helpful and the, the the fruitful friendship that you that they once were so you can obtain again a, a harmony and comfort into your environment either career wise or either relationship wise for example you know that could be a, a friend of yours who I, I cannot say that they're really jealous but let's say that they are constantly making you feel guilty that you're spending more time with your wife or with your husband instead of spending time with them and uh, that will be the very first stage of it you know uh, uh, with time they may not be any more satisfied with just making you feel guilty about it but physically interfering with your relationship and as much as you would like to keep a silent treatment or be milder with them or to stretch what you truly have to say to them they will not learn their lesson on their own accord so you have to be really harsh with your words and you have to be really tough and hard when it comes to uh, expressing your opinion and when it comes to as well making the making that decision how you should approach the situation because with the ten of swords here it does look like a, a separation it does look like that some of those so-called followers or so-called companions uh, are no longer going to be with you after this month passes for the very reason as i said is that they are basically causing more trouble than than it works and uh, you have to make it loud and clear that if they are causing troubles into either your, your career or either into your relationship you know they have no place around you and i know that it's going to be hard because the ten of swords with the magician especially usually calls for you to show um your influence and to show your uh, how can I how can I place it or well, try to explain it that way uh, you got to sh so imagine a pack of uh, of people imagine a community imagine a group and that's uh, because you are are kind of like with a soft soul you're allowing everybody to do what whatever they want even if that means you know to interfere with your things but no one truly knows what you're capable of and what your true presence is and now as you make your stand so you have to make your stand and to show that there is there are certain boundaries which people cannot cross and that you are ready to do whatever it takes in order to guard those boundaries and this is happening here in the month of uh, in the month of January and as I said not many are gonna like it and it does look like as well that that, that is going to be quite irrevocable but on the on the flip side on the positive side this um, this intention these intentions excuse me are opening quite of a, a field for you to work with from now on and the magician points that from now on um, <clears throat> the next the next type of people that you can attract into your social circle can be true followers. So you have to replace for that uh, throughout this month the fake followers or the fake friends that you do have, those who are there just for a beverage and uh, the, the, rest, uh, the rest of the undertakings which are serious for you, they are taking it for a piece of joke and um, you know they are doing whatever they can so they can have fun on your expense well you are to sap that kind of um, 
attitude and behavior and uh, truly clear the room for people who are to really appreciate you. Now the next card which is the challenges that are causing predicament that is going to be the judgment with the nine of cups and the only the, the nine of cups and the only thing that we do have here is uh, uh, the doubt that you may have in yourself that you have done the wrong decision not to give these people one more chance. Well to how long? I mean think about it how many chances you have gave to those people until this very moment all right and even if you are now finding your social circle somewhat halfway empty this is one way to see it I mean this is the wrong way to see it when we do have the judgment with the nine of cups you have to see it as a halfway full uh, a truly a full with uh, with ambrosia rather than full with poison so uh, these cards here are, are pointing that you might have a difficulty to see it that way, to see it from a, a different perspective, to, to obtain kind of like a different understanding for what, how much people, or how much friends, how much followers, companions or, or, or people that are helping you, you got to have around you. Because in, in my country we do have that... Um, <clears throat> Uh, it's not really a sentence, but it's more like a, uh, uh, a mindset that it is better to have a couple of friends which are, real fl which, are, which are real friends than 20 friends which are there just for a beverage and after that you cannot really rely on them. So th this is the clearance that you are going to make either with friends, co-workers or a, a partners as well because this could affect a, a potential, uh, a people for a potential partnership, romantic one, you know, and you are clearing those which are making you feel uncomfortable and even knowing that that is gonna hurt their feelings telling them that you know things will never gonna work out okay and uh, cutting short your options available for a person that you can't be with at the end maybe couple of those who truly fit with your criteria are gonna stand and from there uh, even if you decide not to involve yourself with neither of them you can start filling up the empty spot with new people that truly are going to fit this time around the fullness of your criteria so <clears throat> This is generally the material aspect of your uh, of your month, and man, that is going to be quite of a spring cleaning for what it seems from our people or influences. I am saying people, but generally it's from influence that will that that is making you feel uncomfortable, anxious, and as well somewhat insecure. I'm sorry, guys. And, and somewhat insecure. So the next card that it is uh, the King of Swords that is going to be the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you with the Five of Swords. So this points how cold you have to be once you decide whom uh, which influence you have to cut short of your life. It is literally what these cards are pointing. The Five of Swords here points to the rootlessness and to the, uh, how can I place it, to determination, want to be on the top constantly no matter how much that is going to cost and yeah as I said at the start is going to be difficult because maybe you are not used to say these things to people or you're not used to find yourself with a shortage of a social circle as well or with a shortage of a, um, a companions if I may express myself that way or a, a co-workers that for you to say a couple of words with them or to have your beverage after work but it's going to be necessary for the grand scheme of things because the king of swords it's a person again who does not care what people really think about him the king of swords does what it is right because he knows that this is how wor the world works and the king of swords has one more profound standpoint the king of swords only associates itself with those people and with those influences which actually he can he can make use of what um, the Illuminati Order says about that card is that uh, the King of Swords says, I don't care about your problems, they are trifles to me. I mean, if you stand beside me, you have to be a use of me, uh, a use for me, just like I'm going to be in use for you. So it's kind of like you need to um, associate yourself with such kind of a people 
that you can be in, in a, a mutual benefits rather than with the people that constantly uses your uh, your knowledge or they're constantly using your resources constantly asking you to help them and when you ask them to help you they're finding a stupid excuses not to do so and etc etc and uh, you know uh, when you confront such kind of uh, su such kind of people they usually try to make you feel guilty that you're abandoning them they're trying to make you feel uh, that commiserations toward them you know and and so on and so forth but with these cards here you have to be totally stone cold uh, in your heart and you need to you should not feel any remorse of pity nor a commiseration to basically uh, banish the negative influence from people or situations in your life and what happens at the end here with the four of swords and the four of wands so we have double fours that is very important the four is the number of solidity it is the it is the number of uh, uh, how can I place it uh, where everything is under control so what happens here and especially with the four of wands that is that could be brand new social circle that you are going to start building up for yourself which which this time around is going to completely fit with your needs so uh, because as I said here with the king of swords is all about what you need so you are to find out throughout this month that the influences or the people that you are associating with are basically you don't need the majority of them and you have to replace them with a, a new kind of influences in people and that is to happen around the end of January but this time around you will be much more careful with every new person who approach you with a, a statement that they can be friend of yours they can be lover of yours or they can be a associate in work of yours you with uh, with the four of swords it seems that you're gonna put these people under a test just to see how devoted they are how much they can contribute for the common good because again we're talking here about the common good uh, how well they cope with this world crisis and how tenacious they are to bring things to the very end. With these couple of cards around the end of January, you are going to stabilize Aquarius, not just only your social circle. I'm talking about social circle because this is um, uh, how mostly fits in a, in a grand scheme of things, in a general meaning. But that could be as well regarding your relationship, that could be as well regarding your career, right? And you are to stay stabilize those fields at the end of the January you are going to be on the verge of finalizing a, a very important cycle in your life and after that cycle a, a new one is going to erupt and after you reach that finalization of an important cycle you are going to feel yourself satisfied you are going to have or you will know that you can have a, a quiet amount of time to catch up your breath to rest and as well it does look like that you are also going to solve a lot of problems that you have carried on for quite a while mostly because you did not find yourself the balls I'm sorry that I'm using this term but it's something that came to my mind so you did not find in yourself the balls to cut off that dead meat and to cut off that noxious influence which if not slowing you down was severely um, influencing in a negative way your undertakings and your projects and your relationships so that being said, Aquarius, this was your monthly tarot reading for January 2018 uh, and 19. Excuse me. So it does look like that is going to be a big, big month for you guys. In which month you can truly liberate yourself from negative energies, if that works, uh, if that works best for you, or for what I like to say, noxious influences. And once again, that was a general reading for Aquarius star sign. Therefore, in this video, I tried my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, uh, you have to align it to your personal situation to make perfect sense. Uh, if you want me to do that for you, uh, to analyze a uh, your situation, just like analyze the examples in this video, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal reading you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, 
see you next time. Bye.